Hello. It's a Tuesday, about quarter past ten in the morning. I stopped editing last Wednesday's video, the 19th, at about 11, half 11 in the evening last night. Um, just so I could have a couple of sandwiches and crisp. And uh, I was channel hopping until I got to the Sony movie channel and they were showing Pulp Fiction. I think I missed the first story uh, but I stayed with it to the end. I always do with Pulp Fiction because it's just such a terrific screenplay and a terrific structure to it. It's a it's an almost perfect film, if not a perfect film. Anyway, I watched that last night and because it's quite a very long film, it's near enough three hours, I think. And what with the adverts is probably more. And after that, I don't know, I must have nodded off after that. After that, I called it a day and went to bed. And yes, I'm st I mean, st I'm still in bed now because I have no idea what time I got to bed last night. So I've got a, a blister on my foot on the well, I've got two, one on each foot, but the one on the right foot has got more painful it's more raw and every time I walk on it it just aggravates it and it's like a shooting pain at the moment and uh, so I want to sort of rest at the moment as much as possible and not walk around too much but the plan today is to get up possibly in a few minutes time and continue with Wednesday's video edit because I'm not really I don't have an appetite for breakfast at the moment because of the eating late and then of course our break I do have quite a few clips left that was one of the deciding factors of stopping and so that would probably take maybe two four hours to complete but I'll probably take it back after two just so that I don't go crazy <laughs> and there's nothing to watch on Tilly I don't think there's anything on YouTube either that caught my eye. And when I say YouTube, I mean people I subscribe to, you know, creators, uh, movie company channels like Universal and MGM, Sony Pictures, anyway. Nothing of their latest videos has caught my imagination. But I did watch a video in bed just now. And it was recommended to me by YouTube. And it's to do with uh, the Vinci Resolve. The video editing software I use. And of course I'm not subscribed to this. I want to claim not subscribed to this uh, channel. But this video uh, as a tutorial on one of the special effects to do on text, how to have text and on the, instead of having the font color, have the background image as the 
as the color of the writing, the text. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. And for this channel, the guy who did it, he, he did it. It's a perfect video. He, he was calm. He was tidy. He didn't make any mistakes. It was, it, he didn't pause. It was absolutely confident and it was um, expertly done the way he did things when there was really he didn't backtrack he just kept forward got to it it took 60 it was 16 minutes long one six and it seemed like five minutes because he just kept it so interesting and of course i subscribed straight away um so i watched that in bed I tuned into OBC and the presenter, Nick Ferrari, was interviewing Boris Johnson, the candidate, the most likely candidate to become Prime Minister. And I tuned off after five minutes. And here I am. The weather is, I think, about 23 degrees today. I said it feels like 27. Um, I said it's sunny intervals with a gentle breeze. So that's not all bad. Although we were expecting thunderstorms to break in the high temperatures next week or over the next few days which will be in the 30s and I wasn't aware of any thunderstorms yesterday not dramatic ones anyway not like the ones we had when was it last Wednesday was it really last Wednesday it's nearly a week <laughs> right so that's the latest um, Naturally, I will be going out later, although I won't be walking. I'll probably stay in the car with my blister. Or I might just do a slow walk. As for that part of the day, I don't know. Uh, stay tuned. You know, it feels like a Sunday today. As I said, it's a Tuesday. I'm running low on grape produce, so I'm down to two days worth. So, I should get one tomorrow at the earliest, and one on Thursday at the latest. It's 20 past 11 and I'm just about to carry on with the, with the uh, edit of last Wednesday's video. I think those thunderstorms were last Tuesday, wasn't they? The last uploaded video, the 18th, and today's the 25th. So it was last Tuesday, those thunderstorms. So that's irrelevant, it was last week. Yep, so I'm just picking up where I left off yesterday. And I'll give us a couple of hours. So 12.24, 1.24, 2.24. 
half past two is a good time to to get out. Don't want to leave it any earlier. Don't want to leave it any later. And I'll try and get some more grapefruit juice. I did mention yesterday that while I was in Asda, I had a look at the grapefruit juice and just to see if they replenished the stock and they hadn't. And it does say that there is a label next to the item name that says temporarily out of stock. So, and the only place that stores them at the moment is Tesco. This is their pure grapefruit range. It's got that kick. There's also there's a little bit of a fizz, like a sherbetty fizz taste to it. So what I might do, that, that was just a trial, so I think I'll get their original grapefruit, you know, the yellow cartons. I keep thinking it's Sunday, I'm thinking, oh, I better get out quick because they're close on, they close at four, but it's a Tuesday, it feels like a Sunday, it's so quiet. So, two hours of this and then pop out. I don't feel hungry, as I said. Um, I, my stomach will probably rumble, but when it does, that's when I'll have the beans on toast. Right. The music's pretty loud in this video, so I've decided to wear headphones so it doesn't upset the, uh, the neighbours. So if you'll excuse me for the next two hours. Right, it's about 20, 25, 20 past two, and I finished the edit, and that doesn't mean I'm hungry, excuse me. Finished off the edit, I've done the, including the titles at the beginning, titles at the end, and I've kicked off. The export. I'm too scared to tell you how long. Well, it's, it would have gone out by now, so there's no secret. Or shame. Or guilt. I didn't know, but uh, it's 57 minutes long. It's going to take four hours to export. And then, I don't know how long after that to upload to YouTube. I think by that time, the screen server is bound to kick in. I think the screen server is time to kick in at six hours, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. If I come back and it hasn't uploaded, it's not the end of the world. I'll upload it and then I can take care of the, uh, excuse me. thumbnail <laughs> right I'm gonna pop out now um, it's not sunny it's cloudy with light winds so I don't know if I'll be going out of the car I do need petrol I need two grapefruit juices but not desperately I'm just thinking where I can go I'm just thinking have I made any mental notes of places I have to go to? There is one, I think it's called, oh, I did want to make a note of it because I know I'd get the, the wording wrong, but it's something like Roselands and something. There you go, see I've forgotten already. And because I forgot, I'm going to put it here.
but that's a walking video and of course I've got blisters it hasn't been a pain it was a pain so I'm chewing gum as well now just to freshen my mouth don't need to know all that um, when I'm laying down in bed I, could, I it was I could sense the pain or if I was thinking the, the pain or feeling the pain it was evident, you know, the pain was evident. But sitting down at the desk for like, when did I get up? 10, 11 o'clock? 12, 13, 14. So for three hours, I didn't feel a pain. <laughs> I didn't feel the pain in my foot. There's no. Uh, I mean, it's there, I mean, when it rubs against the slipper, or... Actually, I had my slippers, I took, I kicked my slippers off, so I was barefoot under the table. So that might have helped. And now I'm waffling. So I'm not going to do a walk because of the blisters. Uh, I'll know when I walk around to the car if it's, if the light wind is less than or equal to a gentle wind. It can't be one and the same because you've got two different descriptions of the wind, so it must be either greater than or lesser. Lesser to, lesser than, greater than. Right, so I'm going to put my walking shoes on and head out. I was hoping to go, I haven't been to Pevensey, Norman's Bay. I haven't been to Norman's Bay for about a month, it seems. Or Burling Gap. Or Bexhill Beach. Near yeah, Cooden Beach. Cooden Beach end of... I think it's called Blue. Bexhill Beach in brackets, Blue. It's just a, just a little... A small cliff near the road. These three things have one thing in common: free parking. I know Burlington Gap has its own car park, but if, if you can find a, if you go up the road a bit, you can find a, a space. It's a bit of a nightmare on the springs, but on the suspension, but uh, it's free. So that could be the next three days if the weather's nice. It's I think it's 23 degrees, I think it's 28, did I say earlier? So, uh, I might take a drive to Norman's Bay, just crash on the beach maybe, like I did before. I don't think there's any sun, so I can't top up the tan. And then get some petrol. And travel around town I'm a bit limited with the laptop because it's working hard away for the next four hours so by four o'clock if I can stay out for four hours maybe I can have a kip on the beach for two hours maybe the weather is nice I think it turns out nice about four o'clock towards the evening it gets sunny for some reason so I'm going to Berlin get because the chalk the, the white chalk from the cliff falls on you and there's birds have nesting above and they get very protective and they like to fire missiles at you you know so I'm a bit reluctant to go there Right. I'll take a drive to Norman's Bay then. Well, I've just walked round to the car to give you a another weather update. And there is no sun, but is it warm? There's no breeze. It's lovely and warm. 
no wind at all, no gentle wind, maybe that will, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> well, the fact is, there's no sun, but it's warm, because there's no breeze. Wow. And coming down the stairs. Excuse me. I felt the uh, the friction on my blister, so it was a bit awkward. But uh, it's a case of tiptoeing down the stairs. <laughs> so anyway, right off I go. Petrol. What? No entry. What? Exit. Of course, exit. Stupid is not it? put an exit sign there? I've just come in. I'm not going to go out straight away. My first time at this petrol station. <laughs> Is it self service? I don't think it is. Well, I've got the petrol. And uh, Good 
Ninja on big MS crisps. white vans what the heck's that oh it's a car van parking here isn't it what does it say bts isn't that a pop group a korean pop group what's it bts btfs what's it? bristol bristol film and television You know what that is, don't you? They're filming around here. No. <laughs> no Sherbert Sherlock. Sorry, again, you know, my mind hasn't really registered. I'm some driving at the moment. No, really. My mind's in that. another, it's preoccupied, is what I'm trying to say. So they're filming around here. signs saying F and B lock so what's that filming and broadcasting location oh I can go what am I stopping I can cross over the crossing look oh my goodness they're filming oh the caravan park what is it a documentary Britain's caravanners. Of course, his celebrity goes caravanning, isn't it? F and B lock. Oh my gosh. My 15 minutes of fame has finally arrived. Oh, see, a little power cables. Another Owen sign on the left there, what's it say? There's power cables along the right. Are they going to send me, send me to go back? Looks like it's busy. Yeah. F&B location. Are they filming here? in the back garden of that person's house as a sort of well I don't know if it's a location yeah it's a location it said so I wonder if I can be an extra for the day oops <laughs> my mind's not on the driving Shine, what's this? Is this there the cruise car park? F and B Techs, oh I see this is the technical stuff. This is where they keep all the cameras and the wires. Wow, this is fascinating stuff. Just sort of feeding a 
field mouse dart across the path. A lot of people for for documentary like um, should I please go caravanning? Must be a film or TV show. Now I'm curious. Oh, I'm gonna go on the beach. There's no sun, so no point bathing, but I'll, I'll just, well I can bathe and not get a tan obviously. So let's do that without further ado. I'm so preoccupied with what's going on that I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Handbrake on, neutral, that's it, keys out. zoom in see that that's a light on the crane oh this is fascinating stuff I might ask this couple if they know what's going on well I was talking to the couple there for a good five or ten minutes and it's um, an ITV drama called Flesh and Blood and it stars Francesca Annis, Melda Staunton and oh, Russell Toby and oh, I forgot his name, somebody Bamba I forgot his name, Bamba I think he was in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and I'm going to try and get as close as I can and see if uh, I can get a walk on par Right, just underneath that light is somebody holding a boomer mic, so they're actually filming as I speak um. <laughs> that's the thing about film and stuff isn't it it takes, it takes ages and ages it takes a long time a lot of waiting I mean there's, a, there's somebody in that crane and he's fast asleep at the wheel We won't be needing her for another 10 hours, I suppose, but it has to be on hand. Yeah. I come with that guy's name, Bamba. I know who it is. Somebody Bamba. actually filming at the moment. Francesca Annis is here, Russell Tovey. Um, those are the two I, I recognize and I can't believe who's directing this. I nearly fell over. It's not a big name to you perhaps but to me she's a really big name. She directed something called Cheat a couple of months back and I was blown away by the 
technical excellence, perfection. Her name is Louise Hooper, and I thought she's run. I actually, you know, I follow her career because she's it was absolutely perfect direction. I mean, the storytelling, the way she ended each each. Um, if you see her, she's in red, but it looks like the brightness is pretty bad on this uh, recording. Yeah, Louise Hooper, she, uh, as I said, she made something called Cheat on ITV. And the way the scenes began and ended it was just perfection. It was, I mean, technically, it was perfection. I can't say anything. Really. I can't believe she's here, though. So, uh, what a small world. So, what says me, who's your favourite British director? I would say Louise Hooper, actually. Because uh, she's not in my conscious all the time, I won't remember, you know. But if I come across the name, then it all comes back to me, yes. She is my favourite director, British director, nay, all-time director. I'm trying to get a video of them, of her if I can, but I'll just hang around and see what happens. There might be a, a five-second window. I mean, she, I mean, cross Russell Tovey. Did someone just say cut? Or am I in trouble? Anyway, um, they came up. They came out on the balcony just now. Russell Tovey and Francesca Ellis and uh, Louise Hooper popped out for a few seconds. So, oh my God, who's there? I can't tell. It's the, I can't see who's out on the balcony at the moment. But uh, anyway. They just asked me to move along because they're about to film across the beach. Oh well, little by little. <laughs> came here to do this and somehow got sidetracked it's very warm there's no breeze well a very small one I believe there's really swimming in the sea over there They're filming two houses side by side, but I, I couldn't find out if one house is meant to be at the other side of the country, or it was in fact a neighbouring house. But uh, yeah, they're using both houses. When I was walking away, they were setting up the second house. I don't want to go again and become a pest, so um, 
I'm going to let it lie. It's just a film. You get this all over the world. Usually in um, <coughs> Toronto, Dublin is New York. got the I was gonna say you got the Pinewood Studios but these are sets but actual locations it's hard to say normally it's in the north isn't it see there. I thought it was somebody swimming and I saw one just here but it's disappeared and uh, there are a couple of seals, sea lions. Right it's time to go home I think. I don't know what time it is. Can you hear the ice cream van? <laughs> yes, time to go. Now I don't know which of those two houses. I think that yellow house and the one facing this next to the the one next to it, nearest to sea. I think are the two houses they're filming at. So it's not really exciting but uh, it's a document of such things. Right, I'm heading back to the car now. Oops, where is it there? And one up there. They're simply boys. B O U Y S and not people swimming in the sea although I did think that was a sea line
uploading 100%. Right, what happened was, it came back and the screen saver was on, the screen lock. So, um, and when I looked into the computer, DaVinci Resolve was closed. It, it shouldn't have done that, so it must have crashed. I just opened it up. And I've got this. So what it means is it's it's exported, okay. But the screen server must have kicked in during the upload. So now it's stuck. It's saying uploading when it's not. It's going round and round. It's there's no process behind that. It's that's just a fallacy. So I'm going to cancel it. I'll leave it open for now. Right, it's actually been charging while I was away, so I better disconnect it soon or next. Okay, there's the file there. If it's crashed, it will tell me straight away. That's a good sign. I got escape. Where's the X? Okay, now I'm going to go into YouTube and upload it the manual way. Well, I've top and tailed YouTube. It's going to take 21 minutes left. It already started as soon as I uploaded, and then I did the uh, the title, description, tags, date, thumbnail, um, and in that time, it's done twenty nine percent. So with twenty one minutes remaining, I'm going to let it run, and then I'm going to put these into the washing machine. I just looked at some of the the thumbnails at one of last week's videos and I was wearing the same clothes um, I can't remember, I don't know if there's been change of clothes since but it seems like I've been wearing it a week so I'm gonna plus I'll, I could smell fish when I was on the beach so I don't know and of course I was laying on laying in the clothes I was aware that it was due for um, a wash that's why I went to the beach and was blase about it. Right, so I'm going to have a shower. Because if, if I'm going to have a change of clothes, I must have a shower. Then afterwards, put these in the... It's my belly rumbling again. I haven't eaten since the last rumble. Uh, yeah, have a shower and pop this in the washing machine. This will be ready for the final top and tail. And I'll make a couple of toast and coffee and watch this video. So that's the plan. <laughs> right, I've just did the second part of the top and tailing, so the video is now live. Normally, I would have my coffee 
and my in this case some biscuits and watch the video but there's a James Bond film on Moonraker so I'm going to watch that for the next couple of hours and then watch the video afterwards so that's the plan mm -hmm. Petrol. Off the roundabout. Well, I just come off the roundabout. 